I'm Sammy Vidal. And I'm Mr. E. <laughs> Jeff. And we're live at High Pitch Q Rally Radio on Colourful Radio mm-hmm. for our live lobby season one, episode number seven. Guys, we've got some amazing ice cream today, so make sure you stay tuned. <laughs> first of all, we we'll go straight to the first app, which is none other than Huncho Guapos. Guapos tip. <laughs> Hello, hello, guys. If you just tuned in, this is High Pitch Q Reality Radio live at Colorful Radio. Yeah, yeah. Hey, guys. So, guys, today we have a special day today. This is the second, the penultimate week to live lobby Jeez. just before our live lobby showdown on the 9th of December. Guys, I'm Sammy Vidal. I'm Lady Rooks. And I'm Mr. E. <laughs> and guys, we're going to kick it off with our fir- uh, first artist today. Bro, introduce yourself. Yo, Hancho Guapos, fam. I've got the formula. Let's get it going, fam. Jeez. Yo. Jesus, Ooh, so go, let's start go. With the first track here. You want to intro the first track? Yeah, try to drop the first track, man. Drop the first track, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Yo. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> I got brothers in the zoo ripping pot like Ainsley's Doing all this talking like the chit chat pays me Put peas in my Marge purse cause you know she raised me And shots, the dog could life raise me Pour on gums but your money slim like shady Getting catty sleeping like rockabye baby Never touch the stove but know that I'm baking Doing shows and tours on the road like cages my you were not friends, don't page me Work until I'm orange in the face like Sainsbury's Camilla never seen a CK Don Jamie Lost in the source, but the foreign band saved me Will I ever reach the top factors? Maybe Will I ever fall off, brother? Are you cleansed? Rep Jelani, straight from J.A. And girls say I'm sweet just like K.A. And just know I keep the keys like Ray Ray Skills on the pitch like a cotcha J.J. Abrams, making movies, making pictures no, I got dogs moving bodies like shifters. This the hunch on nice to meet you, yeah, I'm gifted. Bars like the J's on my feet, cause they're lifted. Got bare gal on me, mix like smoothie. Had to call her chili, cause her mix all cool. Rick Flair style, one can't do me. Gal bad like Riri, her back unruly. My bars whip like shit, man, like tsunami. Had to get the goggles, go swimming. At- have a man on the mic like Xbox parties Slingshot move around town like party Never see my business closed down, I'm cool Come on, worth way more than this weight in full Think not because I bust a grin, I'm a fool They're watching all my movements like Ofsted in school I'm gas like Lonzo's 2K rating I master my squad, go all guns blazing I bounce from a kit just like Rocky Go grill stuck to my teeth like Toffee A man watching gal on the bay like hoffy, my brothers sell green, smell loud like coffee. The hunt show, yeah, I'm here, nice to meet you. Tuck your shirt in, blazer on when I see you. Mouth shut when you hear that I'm speaking. Table's hella small, but no way we're eating. Like now, antics, feds here, so I'm dipping. It feels like the time I said I only put the tip in. Ice in my veins, no pressure, so I'm cripping. No side man, MJ, not pipping. Young, but they ain't really feeling all the kissing. I told my girl the Local lake, the only place I'm fishing. No Kim K's making money off my movie. It's like Ray J. You didn't bust me. No tours, no shows, and no shout outs. Now you're coming droplets with your hands out. Got small town minds like Hanwell. Tell I tell myself from you like Hanjo. And I ain't sticking to the plan too well. Got my US dollars all greeny like Manuel. Guardiola trying to get the job done with minis rapping Sterling. Cause that's Man City. I told my Boys, I would take them all to the top. I told my girl, you'll never walk alone at the cop. 740 up, I had to go and get the status on them. Hunch of Gapa, she, I'm cold, I'm going, it's the metal on them. Uh uh, Hunch of. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Yo! 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 Yeah, yeah, no. Like young, like young, like young fuck. <sighs> you might need a little rest, though. Yeah, but I'm not gonna lie. You know, you know, it's, you know, it's, you know, it's, yeah, it's know we got this, we got this, we got this. <laughs> Oh, 
Huncho, flexing, you know, I'm next in. Got bars, you know, my fist. Yo, Huncho, flexing, you know, I'm next in. Got bars, you know, my flow, too cold, a run game like Ronnie. I burn beats like Sony. Yeah, it gives good, she's gummy. Never get caught lacking too funny. Brighton as quangers like honey. Brick get sucked like dummy. Leave man on a bench like Bonnie. Get paired on an island like Johnny. Leave man doing all the shit chat. No talk talk, I'm a gift gap. Coming like Sam, I'm a top lad. Like Essex, man can't act that. But you know, I'm always with a uh, But you know, my bank's with a gops at. Funny man, yo, where your funds at? Probs went missing, where your dad's at? Said I got better flow than Tracy. Got a bus punch rate like AJ. Do you think you're cold like Pitch Go? I'm getting heat, go show you where to go. So you man all standing on Snapchat. Let my bus touch head like snapback. Like Android, man's got clap back. Ain't new, new, I don't tolerate back chat. Celebrate, this is Huncho season. For status, screwing like Griezmann. Like IT, I am the reason. If you snake man, I'm calling it treason. WhatsApp status, active. Got fire in a booth, it's a madness. Got played by a permanent sadness. Bent P's got cuffed by a badger. Tell it not lie like Disney. Vegan, but I'm back to me. As Urzel when she sees me. Find love, take pics when she meets me. No cuffs with game like Pogba. Like Forza, she's got bumper. Like Giannis, I am a monster. Won't feel no way when I dump her. Like future, I'm so groovy. That hoe in my boy just twos me. Go try stunt, act like she knew me. Blocked her like yo's what who's he? Collecting hoes like map packs. Double D's on bumper, fat back. Always on job, there's no slack. Control makes fire, that's pure facts. You know that I change the game, like I change my clothes, I can change my hoes, I can change my flow. Oh yeah, two pools on VVS diamonds. Roll up my season and tell them the time. Oh, my last are expensive, Giuseppe's a naughty. I come in the gubber on a 40. I'm feeling like OG, I know that they want me. My diamonds, they slips in the yellow, they on me. Hunch your that's the pair. Pretty boy face, that's a snare. Temple so big that we share. Black and power, long hair. Uh, I came in the game and I know that they hate me. They're hearing my music, the girls they go crazy. The music, the football, I got it like crazy. I handled them both, man. You know I ain't lazy. Hunch your face. Hey, 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 no, no, no. Hey, this ain't ready. No, no, no. Hey, this ain't ready. No, no, no. No, 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 no,
You ain't get no hope, I mean, where's he going? I mean, where are we going, yo? Ah, uh, back to my rhyme, feel tight like a slave chain. Get right off the beat and hop back on the flow train. My crazy flow is the same, best in the game, take flight like Soul Train. Got a sexy girl on Giselle, I give her five hips. Rap so misogynistic, I don't want why I'm like this. Like my flow on bars, these women love to bite this. Dressed in Ralph Sims, I wear it like it's night fit. Flow so juicy, man, this flow is never dry fit. Ordinary is common, extraordinary is but a few. Watch and learn, my brothers, make it you can do it too. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Let's get it. Okay. These ain't ready. They ain't ready. Man. They, they ain't ready. They're, they're, not, they're not ready. Came in different flows. Jeez. Different flows. Too, too much. Man. Too much. Too I, much. I just have much. to say, okay, cool. You, you, you've come into the studio and you've just shut it down. Shut it down right. completely. Right. One time. One, 100%. <laughs> you've just come in and shut it completely down. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yo, Seriously, thanks, brother. Man. You came through. Shop. Listen, I just gotta give you. Thank give, you guys too, man. You guys I, are hard on the beat, but <laughs> yeah, you, like two minutes. <laughs> you absolutely smashed it. Man. You absolutely smashed Thank it. You. And the way your flow, everything, all your lyrics. Can I just ask you quickly, yeah. when did you like start making music? You're not gonna be here like a year ago still. I wasn't I was on the football grind then. I was trying to get my scholar. Oh, right, so I was okay. on the football. I only started like year 13 of college. Like that's when I started oh, like 13, proper okay. putting in the work, because other than that, like I was about my football. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. My so studies. Just, yeah. So what? So what really got you intrigued to start you know start what? Um, my music mom then? makes a lot of music. Oh right. Yeah, okay. my mom was actually signed to I think Virgin. So, oh wow. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So nice. she was but into like D'Angelo, you know, like Neil. Yeah, so, like, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So it kind of runs Scott. in the family then. Yeah, and she really loved Pharrell. That's how I really loved Pharrell because she was like okay. Pharrell's, and I started listening to N.E.R.D. and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Can, I, can I ask you what? Her name is um, Tamara Williams. Tamara Williams. Yeah, yeah. She was, uh, just in case if anyone's heard of Tamara Williams, it'd be quite interesting. She was, she, yeah. She's, yeah. yeah, she's um, she she was really on it, but then I think she stopped doing it because I was young when she had me. She was really young in it, so she like put her life into me. So that music yeah. background, yeah. Like, it's in my family. Mm. Yeah. So I started listening, but yeah, it was all about. I started really listening to Pharrell and D'Angelo. Yeah. So like Brown Sugar. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. That's wicked. That's and wicked. I think uh, you know any RD in search of. Dun, dun, dun. Oh no, yeah. such a okay, I'm cool. I'm a provider. Gotta pull some strings tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Okay, <laughs> that's that's the one that really got me, and then I started like really following Chad Hugo as well. Okay, and that's when I started like. Really yeah. Getting, okay. Yeah. So so you listening to the you know wide variety yeah, yeah. of genres of music. So I listen to rock as well. Like, yeah. Um, wow. Oh, so yeah, I listen to rock as well. Like I was into Nirvana. Um, What's it? You know the White Stripes? Have you heard of yeah, the White Stripes? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I was yeah, in the White yeah. Stripes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, I really like a wide mix, but at the same time, okay, I'm into, cool. you know, yeah. Yeah, so what's your main, main preferred genre then? What would you say? Um, You know, Questlove. Yeah. Questlove. Questlove. Yeah. yeah, Questlove is the guy. Like, if you hear um, Pharrell in my mind, then the yes sirs. The, the beat I used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He changed it. He changed it up, man. Okay. I like Prince as well. Okay. Oh, nice. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Prince like, is good. Yeah. Prince is good. They're, they're crazy how he mixed that whole different sides of music. So you yeah, got yeah, the, yeah. the rapping, but then you got that funk, you got the rock. The, yeah. You know, how we use it and the acoustic drums. Yeah, and, and then spy you slap mob. a bit of jazz in there a bit. Um, I don't know if you guys know about Spy Mob. They're like an no. indie Go on, enlighten rock. us, let us yeah, know. Yeah, they're like an know. indie rock. Like they oh, help. Right. Because when NERD, they released it in search of the first one. Then they changed it up, added Spy Mob to it. So it's like live drum, oh. live uh, electric guitars. And they hit it up, and I've been oh. listening to them ever since. Oh, right, yeah, okay, that's yeah. wicked. So you probably do love your music then. Yeah, I love my music. That's man. really good. In. Yeah, yeah, literally, literally. You know what it's mean? like. Sign of like a little bit of a meditating. Yeah, and yeah it. man. All right, okay. About. Just quickly, I did. Yeah. I was reading your bio, and you mentioned yeah. that you were releasing your new album. Yeah, yeah. Go I on, let us know about that. Do you know what it is? It's like um, I released the EP, but it was like. Don't get me wrong, in terms of my flow and what I could do, I was like, yeah, but I'm always looking to do something more. Yeah, so I yeah, want to yeah. become how, how D'Angelo is for music. Like, he can do everything. Okay. Like, he can play instruments, he can sing, he can, he's got the flow, yeah, yeah, and he yeah. can also produce. Like, he knows how to do it. So, so for talking. me, it was all about being, having complete mastery. Yeah, so trying to... Instead of just knowing one thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you want to try and do it all. Right, yeah, okay. you get me, yeah. Um, but bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. It was it's been amazing having of course, you. Of course, man. Thank you. Uh, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. Here, man. I hope yeah, to have you back amazing. soon as well. You know, yeah, man. You know, it has, has to happen. It has to happen. Seriously, seriously. It I just to. I just want you to plug yourself in, bro. Any socials, anything. Yeah, like that? Um, yeah. Um, Huncho underscore seven forty on Insta 
uh, Hancho on the school seven forty on SoundCloud as well. That's the two that I'm on mainly. Okay. If I give you my Twitter, I'd be lying if I say I ever checked it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I check it for football scores a couple of times, but nah, none of that, man. But now nah, I'm grateful for everyone here, man. Shout out the two beatboxes, man, and um, Lady Rooks, it? Lady Rooks, Lady Rooks for interviewing <laughs> me and the two guys behind there that are, that are being hard, man. I'm grateful, thank man. you, thank if, you. If, if if people just uh, want to know how to spell it, how how would you spell that? H U N C H O underscore seven forty. Yeah, I know it's kind of hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I, know, I know. It's a little bit difficult, but we got it. Yeah, we, yeah, you I got it, man. You got it, man. Oh, man. <laughs> just, make sure just remember, you... I'm the guy with the afro, innit? You know? <laughs> there you go. That's what yeah. you need to know. Guys, all you need to do is make sure you check out the YouTube channel and yes. subscribe, and you'll yes. get to see what we just saw, guys, yes. and what we yeah, just experienced, yeah. guys. Trust you me. Guys you guys don't want to miss it, man. It's actually really good. Cheers! Right, guys. I love you guys. Cheers! Appreciate it, man. No problem, man. Appreciate the hospitality. Thank you very much, man. And that was Hancho Guapos, all right? Uh, bring an amazing flow right there, man. It was serious to come with that trap and driller. <laughs> but right now, we're gonna be going on to act number two, which is Matthew R. Hmm. Nice, smooth, soulful voice. Ah, oh, the guy's got a voice like crazy, everyone. Let's, Let's see what happens. Bruce. Bruce. HQ Reality Radio Live yes. Lobby, live here on Colorful Radio. We just had Hancho. Yeah, smacked I, I, it, I, I shut I it down. smashed it, clean out the water, Oof. like pow. <laughs> like <this. laughs> yeah. But guys, we got another our next artist here today. Do you want to introduce yourself? My name is Matthew R. Matthew R. And you are joined here today by James Erskine. Awesome, man. That's how that's your guitarist. Yes, yeah. he is indeed. He does his own stuff as well. Awesome, yeah. amazing, oh, okay. amazing. Awesome. Well, we're going about to hear that now, aren't we? We're excited. <laughs> yeah, we're excited. Yeah. So, uh, we're gonna start off with your first song. You wanna take it away? Yep. This one's called Heartbeat. It's out for pre-order right now. Hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Uh. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah, 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 hey, uh. My heart is beating for you, heart is beating for you, heart is beating for you, heart is beating for you. I'm loving the things you do, I'm loving the things you do, I'm loving the things you do, heart is beating for you, uh, the things you do. And I can't take my eyes off you, and I'm wondering if it's true. The things they say about you Gotta keep it low down, keep it low now Baby, we can throw down, we can throw down This ain't a hold out, ain't a hold down Baby, I'm in love now, I'm in love now Cause I'm loving the things you do And I just wanna know if I can hold that In the heat of the moment, I will hold back Let's take it old school like a throwback And I'm loving the way you move And I wanna watch you for a lifetime And I promise I will never take the limelight just as long as I can have you for the whole night. Heart is beating for you. Hey, heart is beating for you. Hey, heart is beating for you. Heart is beating for you. I'm loving the things you. I'm loving the things you. Hey, I'm loving the things you. Uh, I'm loving the things you. It was like, oh, oh, why? Oh, 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 why? It was like, oh, 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 why? Cause I'm loving the things you do. Oh, 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 why? Oh, 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 why? It was like, oh, 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 why? Cause I'm loving the things you do. Baby girl, you know you got a hold on me. Got a hold on me. Every day you know that I can get no sleep. Get no sleep. Oh, why you got me feeling so weak? Feeling so weak. The things you do, you make my heart beat, you make my heart ache. If you was a drink, I would buy that. Go to the club and I would buy it back. Put you on a poster, I would sign that. Bump her out of line, I wanna find that. Keep it low down, keep it low now. Baby, we can throw down, we can throw down. This ain't a hold down, ain't a hold down. Baby, I'm in love now. Hey, heart is beating for you. Heart is beating for you. Heart is beating for you, heart is beating for you. I'm loving the things you, I'm loving the things you, I'm loving the things you. My heart is beating for you, 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 heart is beating for you. I'm loving the things you, I'm loving the things you, I'm loving the things you. My heart is beating for you. Yeah. Woo! Bruh. Woo! <laughs> 
That was mad. That thank was you, fire. You. That was oh mad. my gosh, you got beautiful. the vocals on point. <laughs> that was beautiful. Everything on point. That was wicked. So you. you write your own music, yes, yeah? Yes, I do indeed. All right, okay. So being a songwriter and obviously performing your own music, how, how, do, you, how do you manage to juggle that? Do you struggle with it or um, does it come natural? To be fair, it's because I play the songs first. So someone will send me the beat. Um, I'll just you know, vibe of yeah, whatever feeling I get. So it's uh, quite easy, actually, oh, right, to be okay. fair. So, so what, what would you say, like, inspires you to write music then? What um, gives you topics? If I'm being honest, I don't, I don't write songs about personal experiences, but when I read the song, you know, yeah, read yeah, the lyrics yeah, back yeah, and yeah. actually hear the song in full yeah, effect, yeah, yeah. it actually is to do with personal experiences. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It's, it's literally about what you're feeling at that yeah. precise moment. So you write when you feel. Yeah. Okay, that's really cool. So you do have a lot of new stuff coming up as well. Like you're releasing your new album coming up the, n the new year. Yeah, yeah. You, you want to like elaborate on that? T tell us yeah, a little bit. Yeah, sure. Um, well, basically, I don't normally rap, but this album is going to be you know, sort of yeah. like an Afro Beats meet R&B yeah, type yeah, of yeah, album. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to incorporate rap into that as well. Okay. Um, it's actually called R&B, which is well, yeah. my interpretation of it. It's realising new boundaries. So, you know, oh, right. starting off at, you know, doing R&B and, you know, the boundaries are, you know, it's, it's pushed to some next level. So we are actually going to do an unplugged version. So there's two albums at the same time. One's going to be the original and then okay. one's going to be with James as well. So we're going to unplug it all. Oh, right. Okay. So it's like an acoustic nice. one as well. Oh, so right. Sorry. Okay. So you've got a, a lot of variety there. So you like yeah. to bounce from one thing to the next. Okay. Can, can I ask you, um, the projects, obviously your future projects now, you're talking about one being unplugged, one being plugged, yeah. as it were. Um, is it, have you always been more on the acoustic side of music or have you, is, it, is it like, you know, whatever comes, comes? Um, to be fair, I don't, I only do a co co uh, acoustic, um, depending on the venue and the event. Uh, okay. It's normally more... I'd say commercial R and B type of thing. Oh, okay. okay, cool. So you know, I'm more of like a nightclub guy, like a festival guy. Yeah, that, originally, but yeah, that's what kind of makes your stuff rock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. definitely, hundred percent. So you'd be like an usher, people like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd, 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 I'd probably swing towards yeah. Craig David. Yeah. Okay. Type of okay. You get a high five for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, no. Do you know? The weird thing is, as soon as he started releasing his new stuff, you know, his comeback yeah, material, yeah, yeah. I was thinking, you know what, that's that's like the whole EP that I've, I've already dropped. It was yeah, a yeah. similar style. Well, so I was go. like, you know, I'm just going to keep doing it then. Yeah. So, so, has, so. He, has he been sort of your inspiration since you were younger as well, Craig David? Or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's, oh, that's wicked. It's, what it is, it's, um, it's more him and... What uh, seal? Have you heard of seal? Seal, yeah, yeah. 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 Kiss from a rose, yeah, the Batman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, amazing, mate, amazing. Tune. I don't know how old I was when that was out, but I used to sing that in the street and stuff. Yeah. But I know yeah. I was really young, so. Yeah. <laughs> so. Trust me, Craig David was one of the old schools, you know. Limelight. Okay, so um, getting back to the music, like, have you got anything like that you haven't done before? Like you say that you've just you've just been doing rap and stuff like that, and that's like something new that you've just started. Yeah. Are you swinging to? Try anything else, like any instruments you want to try do, um, or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, uh, I've I'm actually taking guitar lessons now as well, and oh, right, okay. I'm getting. Uh, don't put me on the spot because I can't do it. <laughs> but, <laughs> put um, him on the spot. Put him on the spot. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sort of getting used to that, to, so now I can you know rely on myself as well. So I don't, I don't expect everyone to always be free when I'm free if I've, I've oh, got a certain yeah, event. Yeah, yeah. So it's good to mix with yeah, instruments. Yeah, it's just as well. got to mix. All oh, right, okay, that sounds but, cool. And what's your like family's opinion? Because I know some people do do like share your music with your family and stuff like that. What's your mum saying? Um, at the start, she was like, "Oh, it's just a pipe dream, like your father, blah blah blah." But you know, when I said, "Mum, just listen to this," she listened to it. She was like, "Okay, yeah, you've got something yeah, that's there." Yeah, really so, good. Yeah, okay. so you know, I've got the support now. Um, I've always had the support from my dad. He's probably the main inspiration as well. Okay, So I'm That's sort good. of trying to follow, even though I've got further than him. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but the student <laughs> always turns out better than the master, right? So yeah, there yeah, we exactly. go. So. <laughs> That's good. So you look up to your dad in that yeah, way, yeah? Definitely. All right, okay. And um, so I'm going to go off the instruments because it's quite interesting because you don't get a lot of people that want to learn new instruments once they've gotten into music. They think, cool, I've got my, I've got my voice and I've got other people that I can utilise as tools for instruments. But, okay, you're learning guitar now, but if you could learn one right now and you have you have the power to learn it straight away what would it be it, it'd probably be guitar, it would be guitar like, yeah, yeah i think yeah I'd, I'd say electric guitar though okay why electric as opposed to the others it's because it's like um it's like rock music i don't listen to rock music but any anything you sing over an electric guitar it just sounds wicked so yeah. that's there's no proper reason just, <laughs> that's just, just the, just reason, the musical yeah. aspect of it sort of thing yeah. it's just anything a lot more can powerful click with it yeah yeah oh, right, okay. so it's, uh, to be fair any instrument really anything 
I also want to go back to what you said about your father and obviously um, the support you had, what you have now, and I'm sure you had before. Yeah. Um, has has your family sort of influenced you into the type of music you do as well? So obviously you said you listen to Craig David, Seal. Um, did your mom or dad ever not force any 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 <laughs> artists upon you, but um, environmentally force um, um, any artists upon you? Not really, no. But um, I'd say it's more Motown. Okay. Motown. I, grew, I grew up around a lot of Motown, soulful type of music but I, I didn't I wanted to be my own you know my own artist and I thought yeah in ter- terms of commercial it's just you know common sense will tell you that commercial is what gets your name out there mm-hmm. whether it be pop R&B you know everyone's trying to be commercial now even the underground artists they're trying well not all of them but some of them are trying yeah. to do it as well so I'm more swing towards towards mainstream just for I just personally think that it's that's the best way I can express my music, and because yeah. I, I can't really go to like a, a grime event and say I oh, listen to this, listen to this song. It's you know, it's yeah, like, oh, yeah. Lovey yeah. <laughs> 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 I completely well, you know, understand. Fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even you know, it's, I want everyone to listen to it. So, um, and I w- last thing, just before we move on to your final performance, um, your single, your new single that you've released, dropped today. Is that it's, correct? Um, it's out for pre-order today. Out so for pre-order. It's, it's out in four days. Well, guys, it's available for pre-order. Yes. Where, where is it? Was it available on? It's available on pretty much every. Well, yeah, it is every download iTunes, site. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Everything. Yeah. So, guys, make sure you get get on iTunes because obviously you want to give support and your love. Make Buy sure, the guys. song. I'm telling you. It's yeah. Power. Don't sleep on it. Don't <laughs> nah, sleep don't. on it. <laughs> Fire. But yeah, guys, we're gonna move on quickly to the in, round to your next, two to your next performance. Um, do you want to introduce the song? Tell us what it's yeah. about. And this one's called ready. Drown. It's. I'll let you take your own interpretation of it because a lot of people think it's. A different meaning but um you know that's the beauty of writing songs that people can relate to it in different ways mm. i've got my own meaning um but yeah i like i like listening yeah, to, yeah, yeah, we'll listen to it and we'll get back to you <laughs> <laughs> all right cool You got me drowning in the ocean Swimming far enough for us to drown Gotta keep my eyes open Am I strong enough to pull you out? It's killing me, I want to forfeit Giving to me, I'll put my all in It's history, but it ain't boring You know you know, you know, uh, we can go a long way, it can't stop us falling. If you like it or not, we can go a long way, it can't stop us falling. If you like it or not, we can go a long way, we can't stop us falling. If we like it or not, we can go a long way, we can't stop. Now I'm drowning, come save me I'm drowning in for your love, I'm drowning in for your love I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning Come save me, I'm drowning in for your love, I'm drowning in for your love I'm drowning, I'm drowning yeah, yeah. Uh. We need to get a little closer. Thing your feelings in for me to see. We ain't getting much older. So bring that body right close to me. It's killing me. I wanna forfeit. Giving to me. I'll bring my all in. It's history, but it ain't falling. You know, you know, you know, hey, we can go a long way, we can't stop us falling. If we like it or not, we can go a long way, we can't stop us falling. If you like it or not, we can go a long way, it can't stop us falling. If we like it or not, we can go a long way, we can't stop us falling uh, we're drowning come save me 
We're drowning in for your love. We're drowning in for your love. I'm drowning. Come save me. We're drowning in for your love. We're drowning in for your love. We're drowning. We're drowning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're drowning. We're drowning. Come save me. We're drowning in for your love. We're drowning in for your love. Yeah, yeah. Hey. 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 We're drowning. Come save me. We're drowning in for your love. We're drowning in for your love. Yeah, yeah. Solo. Thank you. Short, that's actually shorter than the original, by the way. Really? Only because it's acoustic. Okay, now that was really that was good. Quality, guys. Is that going to be on your EP? That's actually an old song. Oh, um, that's it's, an, it's, it's on the EP song. already, yeah. Right, okay, right, okay. Well, go, really guys, unfortunately, that's all we have for today. Um, I really hope to have you guys back. Thank you so much for coming and blessing us with that music because that was really nice. Yeah, that that was thank really you for really having really music. It was really Relaxing, nice. isn't it? Um, could you give us your social medias? Yes. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Matthew R. Official. Uh, Twitter, it's Matthew R. And Facebook, it's Matthew R. Official. Follow me on Snapchat, it's Matthew R. As well. Uh, my Facebook is James Erskine Music. And uh, Instagram, James Erskine UK. There you go, guys. Please, guys, make sure you go check it out. You'll be able to see all of this on our YouTube channel at the end of next week. Guys, please subscribe and check out Matthew R. And James Erskine. And guys, thank you very much. Thank you. That was Matthew R. Man, he came with that old school Craig David flow. Rick Eat Wipe. But guys, coming up next, we've got Robin Hayes. Yes. Uh, it's going to be absolutely incredible. She is performing an original song from her brand new EP. So, guys, let's get looking. We are back. And you just tuned in. This is High Pitch Key Rally Radio live at Colorful Radio. Woo! <laughs> we are so, so excited right now. Obviously, we have, we are continuing with the amazing live lobby and we have an amazing guest with us as well. Please would introduce you, yourself. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. I'm Robin Page. I'm here with my guitarist, Rob. Um, yeah, we're going to sing my new single and then talk about my new music as well. Yes, awesome. please do take it away. Okay. So this is Ocean Deep. If I was to fall deep, deep in your ocean, tell me would you dive in, or would you let me drown? Maybe I would just float, float on your feelings. Don't let me turn blue. Sink or swim, cause I'm looking for your light. Are you sending me a lifeboat? Cause I'm barely breathing Just tell me, do you need me? Falling, I don't wanna fall no more Falling, I don't wanna fall no more Deep, 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 deep I don't wanna fall deep, 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 deep I don't wanna fall Falling deep, find me down in your ocean. Yeah, will you follow me? Could you keep me floating? Yeah, I keep falling, falling. I keep falling, falling. Will you follow me? Will you follow me? Catch my breath, I float away, feel the waves blowing over me, taking over me. I find it hard to say it's killing me Find a way to take control of me Oh, so carelessly Cause I'm looking for your light Are you sending me a lifeboat? Cause I'm barely breathing Just tell me, do you need me?
Jeez. Thank you. Look at yeah. everyone behind you. Yeah, I mean, you've got like people in the back. That, that was absolutely incredible. I mean, your voice is like silk, you know that, right? Thanks. I mean, you, you must have heard us before that your voice is like silk because that was absolutely incredible. <laughs> um, so that song itself, that was called Ocean Deep, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have to ask, what inspired you to write that song? Because it seemed like it had quite a lot of deep embedded messages in there. Yeah, so that song is just about feeling like lost in yourself I think as creative people and just anyone really sometimes you feel lost and it's kind of like asking for help Mm. and sometimes we don't ask for help so that was that was where I wrote it that's what I was thinking about when I wrote it and yeah so it's just like you don't want to fall anymore you don't want to keep going deeper into your mind and yeah just like kind of like an outcry for help and that one is going to be on your EP as well, right? Yeah, it is on the EP. It is on the EP, mm-hmm. which was released yesterday. yesterday. Genesis. You can <laughs> find it. <laughs> um, so what would be the best place that people can find uh, the Genesis EP? Spotify, iTunes, Tidal, whatever you use really to stream. Yeah? Yeah, all of them. It's I love everything. that. I mean, and, and if, uh, is, the, uh, is the EP sounding a lot like that? Like Ocean Deep, like a lot of the other tracks as well? Um, yeah, it's a few different ones. So you've got Righteous, a single, which was my first single. Mm-hmm. That's um, like a similar, like calm sort of vibe. And then we've got White Space, it's a little bit more upbeat. Then Ocean Deep and Jaded is a little bit more pop. Um, and then it's still very R&B. And then we've got Heartbreaker which is another upbeat one, so yeah. Okay, so speaking of um, Righteous, as you were saying, that one was obviously championed by Red Bull as well, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, how nice. how proud did you feel of that? I mean, yeah, I was excited, by Red Bull. I was nice. excited. Yeah? yeah? Um, so a massive congratulations for that, because obviously Thank that you. in itself is incredible, because obviously it got over 200, 200K streams. Yeah, on Spotify, yeah, it's still going as well. It's still and going. Then, <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's what you want. And then, Get that um, clicker out. <laughs> video is on YouTube as well so there's a video to that that I put out afterwards okay. so that's on YouTube so you can check that out if you haven't seen uh, it already. Um, what would be the best place to find the video? On YouTube. Just You just type in Righteous? Yeah, Righteous Robin Page should be on there, you should find it. You should be so proud man. <laughs> like seriously, <laughs> I, won't, I won't even lie to you, I'm, I'm like, it's, I'm thrown back by your amazing singing and oh, obviously um, how incredible that actual track was. Um, so you as an artist, alright, um, mm-hmm. obviously I'm getting to hear this a lot obviously that you, like would you, like you being inspired by a lot of different artists, for example, uh, people like Janae Aiko and stuff like yeah. that. Would you say, because you can hear it very much in your voice that there's <laughs> like a similarity. Are there any other artists that you'd say that you were inspired by? Um, so I grew up listening to like R&B, so like Ashanti, Aaliyah, oh, classic. Like Janae Aiko, and then probably like more new artists like Cesar, Kehlani, Sabrina Claudio, just loads of different people that are doing alternative R&B at the moment. I kind of like take inspiration from and try and like put it into my music. Yeah. Can, I, can I ask what it is about alternative R&B that, that draws you? Because when we did, when I saw SZA, I was like, oh, okay, because she's slightly, she's different. Yeah, she's alternative very different. as well. So um, what, what brought you into the alternative R&B as opposed to sort of your, main, your mainstream R&B? I don't know. I think it's just, it's just a feeling, I guess. Yeah. Like you draw towards whatever you feel and I always have drawn more towards that style of music and yeah I just I when I listen to music I just want to feel something Mm. and that whenever I make that kind of music and I listen to that kind of music it always like draws different feelings in me so I tend to like go there instead of more of the pop route Okay. Which is yeah, and it seems to be working at the moment. So, yeah. It's working very well. <laughs> did 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 anything? Um, you know, your family, any family influences, any friend influences, any any sort of environmental influences that maybe pushed you towards that path as well. Is there anything you know? Have you been forced upon by any artists or anything like that? Or no, not really. I mean, I kind of. Not really. I just listen to whatever I want to listen to, really, and Good, anyone okay. around me. Like, I think right now, most people kind of listen to the same sort of thing because that style of music is coming up and mm. it's more like becoming more mainstream. A lot of people listen to Cesar and yeah. Kehlani and yeah. Janaiko. Yeah. So now people are listening to it and like more resonating with it. So it's not too left anymore. Okay. So, yeah. So everyone's kind of supportive of what I'm doing. That's what you need, you need support. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, oh, right, that, you actually do need that support. But um, How long have you been uh, creating music? Um, seriously, since I was about 18. Um, but I've always done music. I grew up doing musical theatre like from a young child and then always wanted to sing. But seriously, I started making music at about 18 and like 
trying to like get sessions and work mm. with people and stuff. Yeah. So you come back from so you come from a, a bit of a dancing background. As yeah, well, dance. Then. I used to dance yeah. as well. I started dancing and when I was younger, and then when I went to college, I did dancing, and then I decided to focus on my music when I was about eighteen. So, so could we possibly? Be waiting to see like a UK Kalani or something, or you know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't dance. I can, I can dance. I don't dance anymore. But yeah, maybe we never it's, know. I'm open. Yeah. Let's see. It's something that maybe is going to be contemplating when you go into your next kind of more live performances and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, possibly. I'm not. I've not decided. So I, just, I can see like what kind of music comes <laughs> out and if it requires dance moves, and we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, speaking of uh, being able to perform in different places, uh, if you could actually go and perform anywhere, um, where would you like to perform? Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> I'm under pressure right Europe, now. Europe, right? America, here. What stage? What stage? Oh. <laughs> I think everyone wants to be on the Grammys. Everyone wants to yeah. be on the VMAs or something like that. But yeah, I think it just depends. Anywhere. I just want to be somewhere where like people appreciate my music and want to be there to listen. And that's, that's what I was yeah. about to ask. I was about to ask you, is it, are you more about the appreciation of music or more about the success of music in terms of making money from music or yeah. is it more about the feeling of being able to get people to listen to your music? It's more about the feeling. Yeah. Obviously, success is what we aim for. Mm. But I think success comes when you do something that you want to do. Yeah. And if you feel it, other people are going to feel it. And then that, that ultimately is success. Do you know what I mean? So I go more on the feeling and money will come and go yeah. so that's kind of how yeah, yeah, yeah. well um speaking of success and obviously going into uh making obviously making this year as successful as possible going into next year making it successful as possible uh what kind of plans have you got for 2018 i mean is it your year is it the year that robin page takes over i hope so <laughs> yeah <laughs> um i just make more music release more music more videos yeah and working hopefully with more people more features just getting out there and pushing my stuff out as much as I can. Yeah, because you have um, some like really nice features on the EP already, right? Yeah, so I have White Space, which is featuring Johnson Orchid, and then Ocean Deep, which is featuring Josh Kai. Nice. Yeah, so they're great artists. Well, then all them eyes out. are going to be on you then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in terms of uh, some of the features for maybe your next project, if you could work with someone within the UK who you're really feeling right now, uh, who would you like to be on your next project? I don't know. If you could get maybe anyone, maybe a rapper or a singer or yeah. someone from uh, alternative R&B as well. Yeah. You could do like a little collaboration or maybe someone like a like a female rapper, like Little Sims or something like that. Oh, Little Sims. I love her. Yeah. 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 I love her. That would be amazing Little if Sims I could. I saw her perform when I was in America one time and she's just incredible. Yeah. Like, yeah. So someone like that, especially anyone really in the UK that's kind of doing that, that style of music that I'm doing or that will be into it, I'm them. open, yeah. Obviously, we've got, like, the mainstream artists that we dream, like Drake and everyone yeah, like that, but, yeah. Well, I, mean, I, could, I, could, I could see you with a bit of Young, young Bane, Young Bane, young yes. Bane on, you, on a track with you. Yeah. Maybe Dave, something like that. That'd be quite... You could see that'd, be cool. that'd be quite yeah, nice. Because Young Bane right now is kind of just taking over all of his yeah, new tracks as well. and dabbing into different yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd yeah. be a good look. Be, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. um, so shout out to Young Bane and Dave. Holla at Rev Robin Page. Holla. If it was something um, in terms of... Uh, oh my gosh, I was going to say different collaborations and stuff like that. Um, but <laughs> yeah, in terms of different like collaborations, um, if it was maybe someone maybe a bit more international, who would you go for? Like apart from obviously the big people like Drake and stuff like that. Oh, um, I'd love to work with someone like Scissor on, in writing and okay. Jenaika in writing yeah. as well because I like like their concepts and how the, how they like put their songs together. So I'd love to work like that in a studio environment yeah. and see how they work and things. Yeah, I oh, said so that'd be nice. I can only imagine that working with Jenaika because even a lot of her uh, latest projects or her last project, like uh, Sail Out, her EP. Yeah, that one like because she wrote most of that herself, and obviously mm -hmm. even the 2020 with Big Sean as well. They yeah. wrote a lot of that together. Yeah. So she seems like one of those writers that take a lot of time into her work. Yeah, and, and it's all a lot of poetry mm. and things like, and even Big Sean. Like yep. I love Big Sean. Oh, Big Sean's so amazing. So even to someone like that, that like Dell's like it's just real. Like I like what they talk about. It's so real. Yeah. And I'd love to like work with them. I'm 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 really sorry. I'm I'm gonna go like completely off it right now. Um, I'm gonna go out with the the, the crazy one. We're gonna go for crazy. Yeah, yeah I'm going with the crazy. All right, cool. If you pay yourself mind. for crazy. So it's not that crazy, but it's crazy <laughs> enough, isn't it? Um, basically, uh, we want to know if you could be any biscuit, what would you be? If I could be any biscuit, I don't even eat biscuits. That much, <laughs> if you could be 
any. You if know you the chocolate digestive that's got the caramel and then the like in Ooh. between. That was be what I would be. Okay, that is a good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, we that's got, a very good biscuit. <laughs> but we have to ask why. Why would you pick that biscuit though to be that biscuit? Like if you I were to really describe like it about yourself. So that would be that's like the best digestive. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be a cookie because. Well, cookie, like cookie, cookie. cookie counts as well. So sorry, yeah. I should have, I should have said biscuits, cookies. It could be a Kit Kat because they still got biscuit in them. You know what I mean? It could be a double decker. A double chocolate cookie, like warm, warm, warm with ice cream on top. With ice cream on top. So you want to yeah. go for a full creams dessert? I'm like a dessert person, okay. so yeah. There we go. Okay, guys, That's if like you heard that, you heard that here <laughs> first. She wants to be cookies and creams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. Um, I just want to, if you could tell everyone your socials, where we can find your stuff, when yeah. your EPs come, well, out, coming out. Yeah. Out. Come, out. Out, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, so Robin Page UK on everything. Um, yeah, check out the EP Genesis on all platforms. And the video for Ocean Deep is also on YouTube, so check that out as well. And could you spell your name for us, just in case? Yeah, Robin yeah. is R-O-B-Y-N, and Page is P-A-I-G-E. So Robin Page UK. Awesome. Guys, thank you very much for having... For, uh, thank you very much. Thank, <laughs> thank you for having thank me. Thank you so much for coming in. Yes. You're welcome for, for having you, no problem. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hopefully we're going to see you again very, very soon. Yes, um, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for being part of the live lobby as well. Thank you. Whoop. So that was a beautiful Robin Page performing uh, an original track from her original EP, Genesis. But guys, unfortunately, that's all we have time for for our live lobby session number seven. But guys, we will be back next week for a live lobby session number eight. eight. <laughs> and guys, please stay tuned. Please subscribe to Hyper HQ yes. Radio and please keep on the social medias for the 9th of December when we have the live lobby. Yes. Okay. It's oh, going to be amazing. Obviously, we are here every Saturday from 1 till 4. Make sure you stay tuned. Peace. See ya. This is Hyper HQ Reality Radio Live Lobby. Large! We've got some serious guests in here today. Boy, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let them introduce themselves because that's what it is. That's what time it is. We we'll start with the beautiful lady because that's manners. Please introduce yourself, my darling. Hey everyone, I'm Robin Page. I'm Matthew. Yo, I'm Hancho Guapos, man. Your voice can get any deeper, Hancho Ha <laughs> George. Hancho Guapos, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, amazing. Guys, we, this is our jam moment and we're going to let the artists take it away. We're going to let them do their own thing. Now, this is the moment nobody knows quite what to expect. So the anticipation in this room is on fire right now. Everybody's on tender hooks. Nobody knows what to think. We've got two guitarists in the room. Can you please introduce yourself, sir? You're not quiet. This is musician time. James Erskine. Ooh. Uh, Rob Webb. Rob Webb, I don't know if we Let's got you, Rob it. Webb, but you were here last week, right, Rob Webb? So you've just moved in, right? Yeah. You, you, you're a resident now. Yeah. Uh, there we go. So everybody knows who you are. <laughs> okay, I think the guitarists are going to take it away. They're going to play something. They don't even know what they're going to do. Take it away, guys. So when you guys feel it, just jump in. Somebody start it and then take it away. We run, we run, we run colorful radio. We run colorful radio. Uh, Monday. Took her for a drink on Tuesday We were making love by Wednesday And on Thursday and Friday and Saturday We chilled on a Monday Took her for a drink on Tuesday, Tuesday. We were making love by Wednesday, Wednesday. And on Thursday and Friday and a I hope that I didn't take your love for granted I hope that I don't take your love for granted You're a beautiful girl, you're a star in my eyes I hope that I treat you right, yo I'm in Ice. Whoa, whoa! I'm in Hype HQ Radio with the two beatboxes by the side. Then my dogs and my by my right hand side of me. Yo, they got the flow. I got the formula, and you got the flow. I got the formula. I'm the Huncho, Huncho Grappa. She, I'm cold, going instrumental on them. Tell them once, tell them twice, hit them what? Right. Uh, uh. I'm out of this world, but out of hideaway. 
Type my name on YouTube because I'm in cyberspace. I'm a teleport outside my zone. Mm. I ain't gonna come back here like years today. Oh. If you don't believe me, check out my face. Everybody running around like a race. You Skis. came to tear it up, but I came to tear it down. Skis. Hitting on me from day one, I'll never live it down. Yeah. Mm. Gotta keep it going, keep flowing, keep flowing, keep going. Off the top of my dome, freestyle, cut off the top of my dome. I mean, I'm oh, born yeah, young, yeah. savior. I'm the greatest to ever do it, yeah, LBJ. Yeah, yeah. Jumping like I'm OBJ. Man, I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but yo. Yeah. Took her for a drink on Tuesday. <gasps> we were making love by Wednesday. Mm. And on Thursday and Friday and Saturday, we chilled on. Monday ah. Took her for a drink on Tuesday We were making love by Wednesday uh. And on Thursday and Friday and Saturday We chilled on mm. Yeah, yeah mm. We chilled on Sunday Vibes right now Keep going guys, this is hot ah. The rooms are getting kind of steamy Yo, it's hot Turn the aircon on Yo, my afro yeah, getting big, man, it's getting picky. I need a comb, need some Vaseline too, man. My lips are getting dry, man, my thoughts are getting dry. Jeez. Where's the mac and cheese, man? I need a quick burger, yo. <laughs> man, I'm hungry, man. I know you're hungry too, man. Yo, keep a guitar going, man. I mean, the guy got the SBs on, yo. Swagalicious. Ooh, fashionista with the man bun, I love it. My guy with the top hat, I love it. Got two singers with the two pack on from Bershka. I love yo. It. Tupac come from Bershka, Monday to Sunday, I don't know his name, but I yeah, Monday it. to Sunday, <laughs> yo. <laughs> uh. Colorful uh. radio. Uh. Uh. I'd like to thank Hype HP for radio, for humping me on. It's been a lovely show, man, it's been great, it's been tremendous. I love it, man. I'm grateful for all the opportunities shown. Catch me next time, what, December the 9th? Yeah, catch me there next time. Yo, follow them, Hype HPQ Radio, on the Instagram, on the Twitter, on the show shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who wants to talk? We're feeling the vibe, we're feeling the vibe. It's feeling kind of nice when mm. we're feeling the vibe. Feeling the we're vibe. feeling the vibe. Feeling and the it's vibe. feeling kind of nice because we're feeling the vibe. Mm. Mm. We're feeling mm. the vibe. And it's kind of nice, feeling the vibe. <laughs> Feeling the vibe, colorful radio inside. Mm. Keep going, keep flowing, keep going, hit them. So should I try to get some vocals on? No, I haven't, I haven't been singing in a long time. You know? <laughs> I haven't been singing in a long time. So this is a live far. lovely jam mm. and this has been amazing mm. we're actually going to fade out with you guys playing in the background mm. this is amazing this happens every saturday on our live lobby high pitch q reality radio at tell them tell radio em. right and, and today we have been blessed with some beautiful voices up in here we have robin page give us a little something robin just to take us out quick thank you Woo. thank you for having me Woo. thank you Thank you for having me. And boy, we have the beautiful Bibi. He travels so far to be with us today. Matthew R. We're looking forward to seeing you both on December the 9th. Please take it away. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Ooh, some vocals up in the house today. And last but not least, Honcho. With the deep voice. Got the formula, remember that. <laughs> F equals X, man. No, I got the formula, baby. Yeah. I love it. Thank you, Hype HQ Radio for that. Yo, take it away, man. Guys, love. as I said, make some noise. Make some noise, people in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Don't forget to tune in December the 9th. December the 9th. 2017 at Colourful Radio. You're going to get a chance to see all these fantastic artists live in the flesh. Okay? Yeah, I love that energy. I love that energy right there, Huncho. Love that energy. Yes, 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 yes. We're a bit crazy. Welcome to the Night House. Guys, thank you. You've been amazing. Thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause and to the musicians who've been phenomenal. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. For our live lobby session number seven. Uh, guys, we've got some really, really good acts today. <laughs> <laughs>
Matthew Law.